When I first moved to the Philippines, I met a great guy called Tony. However, he had a big problem. Due to his super busy life, he found it really difficult to meet single Filipinas. I showed him how to meet Filipinas online, how to get set up and what he needs to avoid. But fast forward to today and the dating game in the Philippines has changed. Today, Filipinas are using dating apps more and more. And one of the new ways to date for free in the Philippines is to use Facebook groups. If we hop onto Facebook, we will see that there are so many Filipina dating groups. Some groups are aimed at retirees, Filipina mums, or older women. So let's say, for example, we get ourselves set up on here. We're a couple of single guys looking to date some Filipinas, so what are we going to see on these groups? It's likely after some time we will run into a lot of fake profiles, scams, and all of that craziness. As an example, I saw people selling pictures of their feet, another person was asking for donations, and quite literally everything in between. However, there are many legitimate groups that are moderated. Alternatively, using the dating services on Facebook is also popular, especially if you plan to live in Manila or Cebu City. So what about if you don't want everybody to see your photos, your full name, and all your information? What then? Well, back when I first met Tony, we ran into a similar problem, and I gave him some advice. I told him about the best dating apps that he can use in the Philippines with more privacy. One of these dating apps that's really popular with Filipinas is called Pina Love. Their service is free, however, you can upgrade to a premium membership for around $25 a month. The reviews for Pina Love certainly don't hold back. One guy wrote, Around 10% of the women are transgender, around 5% are working girls, but the rest are Filipinas looking to date. He added, It's a great site for expats as most women on the site are looking to date foreigners. But what about the numbers? Okay, so interestingly, I found a website that calculated that the site had approximately 30% women on it, and the biggest age group for women were those between 25 to 35. However, most Filipinos on the site are older women, so it's a great option if you are interested in dating an older Filipina. I also looked at the biggest dating apps and platforms used by Filipinas, and here is a cheat sheet for your reference. What I would say is use the apps or the websites for a little bit, get some numbers, get some details, and then delete your account. Filipinas are some of the hottest women on the planet, there's no doubt about it. But what's often not spoken about, especially to foreign guys who go over to the Philippines, is that it's almost like a kid in a candy shop. There's so many beautiful women, Filipinas are so kind, so decent, and I've met many young guys as well as older guys who get into a cycle of chasing, they get addicted to getting the Filipina, getting laid, or even getting addicted to dating apps. So you have to be really careful here. Now, I'm sure that's not you, but just as a piece of advice from a random YouTuber and also as a single guy myself, it's all about balance. Using the apps as tools are great, and it's a great way to find new people, but if you find yourself spending hours chasing Filipinas or chasing the booty, you know what I'm talking about, then it may be time to take a step back. 